25th, and we turn our focus now to preparations. We all know when there is a flood threat in or around Houston, we've got to be ready for high water anywhere. Which means measures need to be taken mm -hmm. to keep us all safe. We continue our team coverage now with Sophia Beausoleil. She's live at Firehouse 11 on TC Jester, where they've got those high water rescue boats standing by. Sophia? Bill and Dominique, firefighters just gave us a glimpse of some of the equipment that they could possibly use if they need to do high water rescues. This is an example right here of the boats that they have ready to go just in case the weather does get severe as it's possibly predicting to be. But right now, the best advice that all departments across the city and county are wanting to give you is that you need to keep your eyes glued to the forecast and constantly monitor the road conditions. Right now, all emergency crews and departments, including firefighters at Firehouse 11, are getting ready for the potential threat of flooding in the next two days. We've been closely monitoring the weather situation with the Weather Service. Corey Stottlemyer with the Houston Office of Emergency Management says they are in constant communication with the Harris County Flood Control District, fire, police, and public works. Our public works teams are promoting throughout this whole weather event. Keep the streets clear. We don't want anything blocking the drainage system so they can do what they're designed to do. The Harris County Flood Control District says the weather could potentially drop two to four inches of rain across the area with higher amounts in isolated spots. For the most part, we'll be able to handle that. The creeks and bayous should be able to handle that. The good news is we're going into this dry, so there's there's the ground is able to absorb some of the water. But Jeff Linder says the question is if there will be breaks between the rain bands to allow the water to go down. And it's important to be mindful of how much rain falls in a short period of time. We start getting three, four inches an hour. That could be causing some street flooding concerns. Certainly possible as, as we go into tomorrow. So what should you do? You need to sign up for alerts like alerthouston.org. We have that link on our website, click to houston.com. Also, the city is suggesting that people move their cars from the streets onto their driveways so that you keep those roads clear because remember, our roadways are designed to flood so it doesn't go into your home. And then also, you want to make sure that if you have any drains near you, just take a quick look if you're doing a walk tonight. If you see debris or anything that might be blocking the drainage, just go ahead and try to move it out of the way. Obviously, if it's something really invasive, you want to call public works, but just little things like maybe some leaves, maybe a random street ball, whatever the case is, because if that backs up, that could cause issues for your street. As always, monitor with us. We're going to be here with you along the way as we expect this rain to make our way into our area. Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News.